Sending some early love to ask what the hell was the yeah okay. what the hell was the Erickson Lubin fight? Now am I not seeing something correctly? And are the judges uh, and the judges are also, it didn't live up to it. That's, it yeah. Also, it was, it was so incredibly frustrating to watch him hug the ropes to set up some traps. Yeah. Yeah. Ramos was robbed. Yes. Question of the night. Ramos was robbed. Yes, sure. was robbed. For sure. He was robbed. He was robbed for sure. No mm -hmm. question. No question. He was robbed, but Lumen was getting his shit off. But I, mean, I still give it to Ramo. Yeah, yeah. But he had him. He was messing up his rhythm. Brother, I think, I think, I think, I'm, I'm just trying. I know I'm trying to help him. <laughs> I got rainbows too. I'm trying to help him. Trying to help him. But. So coming into the ring, coming up to fight week, and when this fight was first announced, I mm. thought Ramos is gonna get it. I just thought, you know, mileage on on Erickson Lubin. You've been there a couple of times, and 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 I even asked um, Coach. Uh, I asked. Um, uh, I asked his coach Cunningham. Uh, Cunningham, excuse me. I asked Coach Cunningham. What's the separation? He said, I think it's XYZ, not gonna disclose that, sure. but I think with this one we're gonna, you know, cross over. I didn't see that separation. I didn't see the crossover. I didn't see anything that was unique and different uh -oh. from anything other anything else that he had done. And and as a matter of fact, I thought he did less in this fight than he's done in a That's lot true. of other fights. That's yep. true. I agree. Sometimes, true. disclaimer, it takes doing less to do to do more. What I mean by that is not banging, not getting caught on the inside, all these other things. Sometimes them other fights, all that that you did. Ain't the way to beat this kid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So boxing from the outside, I thought was a smart move, but from the outside, I saw he, your, your, his punch output was really, really low. So it lost him the fight officially. I felt like that lost him okay, the fight. Okay, bet. This is what bet. I thought. Because, I, I mean, afterwards, he Ramos did was say, I'm trying territory. something. To, yeah, yeah, he was running all the territory. Right. Yeah. He was controlling the center of the ring the whole time, pushing up on him. Yeah. And he was, and he was, you know, was keeping, keeping that bay with it. Uh, just being devil's advocate. I mean, I had Ramos too, but, you know, yeah. shout out to Lubin. Why? Didn't Just because you've been aggressive doesn't mean you win the fight. He was effective. Effective aggression. It was, was, it was effective. effective. He was more effective to me yeah. than Luba. I mean, I saw a different fight. Yeah. I think everyone saw a different yeah. fight. I yeah. need to know did, who thought Lubin won? The like, three, three judges? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. the people who, who count. You only but need I'm three people saying. in the world to believe yeah, yeah, in yeah, you. Yeah, that, right, that. Right. But I just want to know, like, yeah, in, I, in the I, chat, any of you thought Lubin won? I mean, the judges. Oh, we got one back there? The judges. You saw Lubin won? We watching the fight again. The judges clearly was off. The main right. event was a t one twenty to whatever okay. the other side is. Right. And I heard one judge gave Charlo one round, and I think the other two judges gave him two rounds or something along did. those lines. The judging was off. What well, do you think night. he deserved more rounds than that? Hell no. Oh, okay. I was about to say, Sean. Negative, negative he got rounds. swept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we'll, and we'll get negative. to that. Clean yeah, yeah, sweep. But the last thing I'm going to say about uh, about uh, Erickson, Luke. and we'll move forward, and I want to get to this movie real quick, and then we'll move forward beyond that. But before the fight happened and we drive in there, who's going to win? I'm like, man, I don't know. I think Lubin's going to get it, but I just don't see that the young kid losing. The business is not built for him to lose this fight. Mm -hmm. So even with that being said, I'm telling y'all, like the judges walking in, even if somebody said, hey, they don't have to say, hey, uh, Jesus Ramos is supposed to win this fight, so make sure you're you're watching. We've known we've been around this block enough to know this kid has losses, this kid doesn't. The whole nine. He wasn't supposed to lose wait, this wait, fight. Wait, wait, that's something to feel good about. That's a silver lining then. Yeah. Where Ramos, we all saw it. It's God supposed yeah, to be. Right. And and the we saw Ramos win it, but they felt that they were doing the justice of saying, this is what we saw, who we saw won. Obviously, I mean, the man who's supposed to win lost. Yeah. There's a silver lining there. There is a silver yeah. lining Whether there. you like it or not, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether yeah. you like it or not, there is. Uh, uh, but on our way to the to the fight, I, I shook hands with my man. I said, yo, $5 and 50 push-ups. All right, boom. My man, when we're leaving the fight, we're walking out. I don't care what you said. Lubin didn't win that fight. <laughs> and like deep, deep five up. seconds later says, oh yeah, I want my $5 and my 50 push-ups. You can't tell me. Right. What you, right. So I said, yo, where, where's your integrity? You just said what you said, but you still want $5 and 50 push-ups. He tried to demo the push-ups. Yeah. 